I don't think Devo Max seems to be on the cards at all. We're, we've got the Scotland bill going through. We've got a vague commitment from Mundell, the Scottish Secretary, to look at the amendments at the next stage. Um, I think he's playing chess. He's almost got to concede something, but I'm not expecting it to be anything remotely Devo Max. So I can't see them putting a referendum for that on the way. I think the only way we're going to get our independence is through another independence referendum. I'm not sure what the best timing of that is. We've got to time it at a time where we can win and we can win quickly. Mm -hmm. The last thing we want is a, another defeat. So I wouldn't rush in another indie referendum. It will be when the Scottish people are ready and when they're ready, that's when we'll go for it. And we shouldn't have bounced too quickly. we just got to build gradually and make sure that the arguments convince more and more people. We know the fault lines we failed on at the last referendum. We didn't win enough of the elderly pensioners, particularly the older women. We didn't convince enough people in currency argument, some of the people with business scares. So we know that's the ground we've got to address. And once we've addressed that, possibly combine that with a divisive EU referendum that could see Scotland and England voting differently, we might have the grounds to call for a snap referendum. That might be the catalyst. We'll just have to wait and see and play it by ear.